Good evening, everyone. On behalf of CDW and the Center for Enriched Living, I want to welcome you to this year's Virtual Chef's Night event. My name is Byron Holden. My family and I are privileged to be longtime supporters of the Center. For nine years, I've served, served on the Board of Directors. I continue to be a champion for CEL as a member of the Emeritus Board. CDW is proud to sponsor this great event and proud to be part of this wonderful CEL community. Thank you for attending this year's Virtual Chef's Night event, and we appreciate your ongoing support for such a great organization. Enjoy the event, and we are looking forward to seeing everyone in person in 2022. Thank you very much, and enjoy the evening. Welcome to tonight's Virtual Chef's Night. We are live here at the Center for Enriched Living in Riverwoods, Illinois, one of my absolute favorite places. And after a very difficult year, our doors are finally open. So let's go in and get this show underway. Follow me. Welcome to Chef's Night. Welcome to Chef's Night from all of us at Ingram Micro. Thank you so much for supporting Chef's Night. I look forward to spending the evening with you. Welcome to Chef's Night. Hi, my name is Eitan Gordon. I work at the Center for Enriched Living, and it's an absolutely wonderful place to work. So welcome to Chef's Night. Welcome, welcome to, to Chef's Night. Night. We're proud supporters of the Center for Enriched Living, and we want to say, welcome, welcome to, to Chef's, Chef's Night. Night. Hello and welcome everyone to CEL's second virtual Chef's Night. Can you believe it? We are live here from Riverwoods and I hope you're cozy at home with your popcorn or food or whatever it is and you're ready for a great hour with us. Before I go any further, I wanted to share some housekeeping information. First of all, we are streaming live to both YouTube and Facebook tonight. So make sure to check in with us, watch us live, chat, and really make sure that you're part of the evening. And if you have any trouble with either one of those, make sure to let us know and we'll be here to help you out, as well as our crew that is here with us right in the Center for Enriched Living tonight. Take a look. We have quite the production going on and uh, we are very excited to present you an amazing show. Now, first off, most importantly, I wanna share our fundraising goal tonight. We have a goal of $62,591, which is critical. So I'm gonna say that number a lot this evening, and I hope that inspires you to donate. And speaking of donating, all you have to do is text to donate. Text CEL to 243725, that's gonna be going across your screen tonight. And we hope to see those numbers go up throughout the evening. Also, very, very exciting, we have a generous match tonight from Vaughn and Jennifer Moore, uh, of the CEL board who are matching $50,000 dollar for dollar. So, so excited about that. And we're gonna be talking more about that tonight and hearing directly from Vaughn. So don't forget also, stay tuned to the end of the program because we have a really exciting thing coming at the end, a raffle for a brand new Ford Bronco Sport Big Bend. I got that right. And you might that winner might also pick $30,000 cash. So we will see what happens. And again, we encourage you to really interact with us on Facebook and YouTube throughout the evening. Now, most importantly, I am very excited to introduce this woman right next to me, who is the CEO of Center for Enriched Living, Harriet Levy. Thanks Hi, for being Michelle. Here. It's so great to be here. Hello, our viewing yes. audience. Welcome. We're so excited you're with us tonight. We have lots of great things going on. We really do. And I just love Harriet. She's one of my favorite people in the world, and I'm so honored to be here tonight as your co-host. Harriet has been with CEL for how many years? Uh, many. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> many, she is the guiding light of this uh, organization. So first off, we wanna start by thanking our diamond sponsor. Our diamond sponsor is CDW. This show would not be possible without CDW and all the things that CDW helps with at the Center for Enriched Living. So thank you so much, CDW. We love CDW. They're a great partner and they really great are. friend to the Center for Enriched Living. Yes. They really are, long history there. So, you know, many of your longtime supporters are watching tonight, but also some people that might not be as familiar with the Center for Enriched Living. So I'd love to just start out by asking you, tell us what 
CEL's mission is and why this mm. night is so important. Well, I know we have a lot on our program, so I'll keep it brief. And really tonight, I want our members to share the story. They're the ones that have the story to tell. So quite simply, the Center for Enriched Living, three words, include, achieve, enjoy. Just remember that people with developmental disabilities want a life just like you have. Right. What is that template for a full life? Right. And an opportunity to achieve and be challenged. We all want to be challenged in our life and continue learning. Yes. And to just enjoy a good quality of life, not just here within our programs, but out there in the community. Absolutely. That's how it should be. Absolutely. And you have three key pillars. We do. And again, I'm going to keep it simple because our <laughs> members are going to tell you all about it. We have our social, which is the very foundation of what we do at the center, bringing people together in community, by interest, by just enjoying uh, being part of something bigger, you know, and, and being out in the community. Right. Uh, and also our uh, Reach, for, Reach for Success Day program, where they continue learning long after school ends and continue really on that path in adult life successfully. And third but not last, is our employment, which is our most recent program. So we wanna make sure that those who want to work are able to work and be included in community. Absolutely, we're gonna go into all of those in more detail, right? And then we just yeah. wanna mention quickly, Chef's Night is so important tonight because this is all about fundraising, right? We are, we are not, we are not privately, I mean, we're not publicly funded. We don't get state and federal funds. Right. We are funded, 70% of our operating budget, our, Budget pre-pandemic was about $4 million. 70% comes from donations from friends like you out there in our viewing audience. So I would remind you to text, text 243725 and type in CEL and make your donation. And remember, we have a $50,000 match. Unbelievable. Thank you, Vaughn and Jennifer. Thank you so much, and AIT. We that love means you guys. 100 is 200, 200 is 400. So keep it going. Well, you're good at making <laughs> That's about where it ends. Yeah, right. So, all right, well, let's start with pillar number one, our, our social program, as you mentioned. Uh, we'd love to start by sharing an amazing story with you from our member, Tom. Let's take a look at that. I think Tom feels like an independent grown-up person because he has his job, he has his home life, and he has his social life. My name is T Tommy Lawrence. I've been in, in the city of about six years. My name is Mary Beth Furman, and I am the younger sister of Tom Roberts. I'm Tom's primary caregiver. He lives with me and my family. We started looking around for programs for Tom because just like any other of our family members, he has his own interests. CEL provides uh, an enormous selection of programs for Tom. We did a lot of good stuff, good stuff at CEL. At TDs, we did uh, gym, and we do cooking. Game day, it, it was good. Uh, sometimes we ask a, a quiz. I like he has established really close friendships with the people who work there. I like, I, I like the staff, the good, good, nice people. I think that life can be very lonely for people who don't have a place to go like this. If he didn't have CEL, then he'd either be working or in his room, doing his own thing. Alone time is great, but too much of that's not a good thing. CEL provides the joy part of life, the fun, the added extra oomph, the friends. It gives me a lot of comfort because I cannot do all that for him. It's impossible for any one person to fill all the needs of another person. That's what CEL provides. Thank you for the staff. Thank you for your, all you do. That is such a great story. I just love seeing what, what's going on here with Tom. Oh my God. And I, I, Tom is actually in the kitchen tonight. He's I one of know. Our, our sous chef. <laughs> Do you know when he bowls, his average is 185? That's unbelievable. So, and he, I, every Monday night when uh, we are open for business, and we are open for business right now, but our bowling isn't yes. quite ready yet. But he, he is here with his own ball and his own shoes and his own glove and ready to 
ready to see some action. I mean, so. the, your social programs are really changing his life. Yeah, and it's it's about bringing people together. Yeah, social yeah. is so important. We all we all know that and understand that. Especially Absolutely. from this past year. Especially from this past year. Thank God you guys are finally open. We are. You we're know, open. and things can continue. And when we're humming, we are open seven days a week, uh, morning, noon, and night. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. Well, let's keep going here. We want to thank next our platinum sponsors who are so important to us. As you can see there on your screen, William Blair, Lori and Gary Cash, and many more to come like Blue Star. Kim and Tim Sizeski, NetApp, Tech Data, and the Slotnik family. Thank you so much to all of those platinum sponsors. We, we so, love you. So we appreciate love you. Our sponsors. <laughs> Thank you. Please. Oh, we love it. We love, love, love we sponsors. Love the only way our members experience success because of you. And you're going to hear a lot more stories tonight. Related Absolutely. To that. And the other thing I'm really excited about is seeing in the corner of my eye all of the chats coming through tonight. Yay. And I want to say a quick shout out to our good friend, Lisa Fielding, who is literally on the air at WBBM oh, News Radio you, 780, jumped in and said, hello, ladies, and she loves oh, CEO. We so love Lisa. We oh, love hearing from yes. our fans out there and all of our supporters. So let's check in, most importantly, with our thermometer and see how things are going with our fundraising. As I mentioned earlier, our goal is 62591 we are already up to $3,100. Wow. Period. That's exciting. How much time has passed? Only a few minutes. So Just a few minutes. We have a full hour to get to 62591 So I hope you guys are out there donating and help us get to that number tonight. We want to be celebrating. At and the those end of the are hour. matched. Don't forget. And those, those are dollars. matched. Just amazing. So, okay, moving on. You know, we have a direct message tonight from the members who are our CEL poets. So let's take a listen to what they prepared for us. Why are we doing CL Elcom? My friends are fun to be with at CEL, and I've made new friends there as well. Our friends treat others with respect, and with friends, it's nice to connect. Friends are supportive of each other. Thank you and one another. Here you make the best of friends and you have them to the end. CEL activities are lots of fun. We really like to dance and run. We always love to smile and laugh. And we are our friends and, and, and see your stuff. Going to the park is our favorite part. We also like dance, finger, cooking, and out. For everyone, our virtual programs are a great fit. You name it and CEL has it. At CEL, helping each other is what we do. We're a great place for each and every one of you. When you need a helping hand, we will always understand. CEL is the best place of all time, and we hope you all enjoy our ride. That was virtual oh, too. I that know. They learned all that. That was incredible. It, they, our members are so talented, and they're expressing themselves so clearly. And uh, to say that this last year has been difficult yeah. is is really understating it. Um, we we really pivoted to virtual programs uh, last March, and that's what kept many of our members connected. Yeah, many so, connected, so important. and they love it. They actually love the virtual. They love face to face, <laughs> and they love the virtual. So. We're going to continue doing both. You're still doing both, right? We're here yeah. to meet the needs of our members. Okay. They're, they're my boss. Yeah. My, my boss. <laughs> well, you can just tell members. how much they love CEO yeah. and what and they we were love saying. them too. Yeah. All right. Well, you know, typically Chef's Night is filled with chefs 
and food and people in a room. Tonight we're virtual, but we still have a chef yes. here at the Center for Enriched Living. So let's go to Chef Tim from Barilla, who is here cooking something up delicious with the two special guests. Tim, how's it going? Pretty good, pretty good. Thank, thanks for having me, Harriet. And and uh, uh, we're here, we're, we're gonna make a vegetable campanelle uh, frittata. I have two assistants here with me, Tom and Luca, you guys. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. All right, we're excited. So um, we're going to start. We have a, we have some really good fresh ingredients. We have some garlic, shallots. We have some cremini mushrooms. We have some asparagus. We have red pepper. We have some heirloom tomatoes. We have our Barilla Campanelle pasta, and we have some mixed greens with spinach, kale, and arugula. We're going to bring all of this together, and then with Tom and Luca, they're going to crack the eggs, and they're going to grate the cheese, and we're going to bring it all together and make a really healthy, fresh frittata. All right, so I'm going to start. <laughs> all right, so I'm going to start with a little bit of butter. And then we're going to go right in with our shallots and our garlic. And we're going to let that go. We're going to season a little bit with a little bit of salt and pepper. Guys could smell this. I wish you guys could smell this. I can't. I can't wait until we can get back to our in person. But now we're having a great virtual chef's night, and so you guys have to use your smell o vision, your imagination here. So we have our shallots and our garlic going. After that, we're going to add our cremini mushrooms. How are you guys doing with the eggs and the cheese? I think we're about done. It chef. looks. It looks good. Nice and feathery. Pass Looks the test. good. Pass the test. Pass all the right, test. All right. All right. We're going to go in with the mushrooms. I'm, still, I'm scrubbing the eggs now. We're going to re season the mushrooms there. And then after that, we're going to add the asparagus. Nice, fresh asparagus tips. Oh, looks good, man. Yep. Going into the pan. We're gonna let that all saute together, and then we're gonna go back to Harriet and Michelle. You guys? Thanks, Chef. Wow, that is looking oh delicious. Oh my God, it smells so delicious. I it mean, cremini so mushroom, better. shallots, that's some fancy ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just to explain to our people yes. in the viewing audience, we're sitting in our beautiful lounge. This is this one of the social yes. centers. It's the Gary and Lori Cash Lounge. Very and comfortable. And right next to us is the Northrop Kitchen where Chef Tim and Tom and Luca are cooking dinner Beautiful. for us. Yes. Wow. Well, we can't yes. wait to taste that at the Delicious. end of the hour. Yes. Yeah, this is the social heart of okay. the building. Great. It really is. It's and a And the cooking place. is very popular. Oh, we have to remind everyone, text 243-725, type in C-E-L. Your dollars will be matched dollar for dollar. We have a $50,000 match. Incredible. Keep, keep donating, everybody. Um, so, all right, well, we are going to move on to pillar number two and discuss the REACH program here at the Center for Enriched Living. Why don't you tell us more about REACH? So REACH, uh, it's about 13 years old, maybe even older. I, I, I lose track of time. But uh, it really is to address the adult life of people with developmental disabilities. Uh, many parents can, many families can attest that at age 22, when their son or daughter are transitioning out of school, it's like falling off a cliff. There are very few choices for an adult yes. person with right. a disability, especially in the state of Illinois, which yeah. ranks 48th in the nation. I have to add that, which is appalling. But we are the number one choice of our members and our families. So REACH is continued learning, continued growing, it's recreation, it's continued education, it's community, it's advocacy, it's arts, it's, it's everything. 
it's everything that you, the template that you have on your life and I have on my life, it's employment. They want to work. They want to learn. They want to, they want to be engaged. They want to be engaged with other people and they want to be engaged in the community. Absolutely. And with this previous year we've had, I bet your staff uh, had to work extra hard to keep that connection. Yeah. And again, virtually, it right. had to be virtual. And now our programs are, op- our building is open. Uh, our reach program is actively Amazing. meeting five days a week from morning till about awesome. three o'clock in the afternoon. And the members are doing what they want to do. We don't tell them what to do. They choose what to do. Their personal choice is what's made. Incredible. Well, we have a great story to show you from the REACH program. Let's take a look at Robin and Cassidy's friendship. Oh, love this. We got our beads. It's like a second home. I really, I think it is. It's like a second place that I can come to and just have fun and be with the members. My name is Cassidy and I've been working at the center for about almost two years now. This is Robin and she is the fashionista of CEL. She's been attending CEL for about two years and she absolutely just loves coming. She always comes with a smile. When you get Robin laughing, she sometimes can't stop and it just gets everyone laughing in the room. Do you want purple or red? The REACH Day program is a, it's a day program and it's for individuals 22 and older that they come to the center to learn life skills. We go out into the community, volunteer a lot, and it's just for them to interact with their peers and make new friends. You're going to do it this way? What do you like about CEO? Oh. Uh, the staff? Yeah. What's your favorite activity? Uh, Dance party? I think Robin just likes coming to interact with friends, getting out. Overall, she makes CEL and REACH better. I think it's just awesome to give the members that have intellectual disabilities just opportunities to do anything. We go shopping, we go to the library, they go volunteer. It's awesome for them to learn the new life skills that they need. Without REACH, it would, I think it would be really, really hard. I think it would, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We just want to say thank you so much for your guys' support. Without you guys, it wouldn't be possible with what we do here every day. Wow, Harriet, they have a really special relationship. You Uh can tell from that story. You know what? The center really is all about relationships. And I always say our our staff are our number one asset and our members are our number one priority. But really, and our staff are really the best of the best. Yeah. Absolutely. They have such a high regard for our members and treat them with such respect and really listen to them. Cassidy understood everything that Robin was everything, saying. And everything. I love that. Yeah. Because That's, we all communicate differently. Yeah. And, but they understand everything that our members say. That's really they special. They take the time to listen. So every dollar tonight is yes. really going to help you provide more of those relationships Absolutely. and programming. Great. Well, we want to move on and thank our gold sponsors now, who are also so valuable to us, as you see on your screen there. Uh, couldn't couldn't do it without the gold sponsors. We love right? our gold sponsors. We love our gold sponsors, um, and so grateful to oh. to everybody tonight who is supporting you and everyone here at the Center for Enriched Living. Yep. So, guess what? It's time to check in on our thermometer. Oh, what and are we see doing? Where we are at. Ah! What? Wait a minute. What? Do I need my glasses on for that? <laughs> I'm squinting. 21,503. That's incredible. All right. I, I'm telling you, we're going to, we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Oh my gosh. We're moving, uh, we're moving along towards that goal. So everybody just to remind you, you can text to donate, text CEL to 243725 and let's keep that number going up. So, you know, Tonight is about chef's night, right? Mm. And I was curious to ask you, you know, are you a big chef, Harriet? Or how much do you like to cook? I love to eat. <laughs> and I do love to cook. Okay. But I'm a five ingredient gal. What? Give me five <laughs> ingredients and I can make a really good dinner. Well, so yeah. do you have a bunch of recipes in oh, your I make repertoire? Egg, Parmesan, mussels in white wine and shallots, you know, just but simple, simple, simple. Well, Butter can... and wine are the key are key ingredients. Okay. Of my dishes. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Five ingredients is easy, but let's see yes. what the experts are doing in the kitchen. Yes. Right? Let's take a look and see how chef Tim from Barilla is is moving forward on this delicious dish with mm. his all, all right uh, these these guys have actually taken over so they're gonna <laughs> take awesome. over the rest of the dish our first ingredient that we're gonna add are some peppers some nice diced peppers that chef Tim did 
I'll add it to the pan. All right. Our next one are some yellow heirloom tomatoes. And then we got everybody's favorite, some mixed greens. Mmm. I love it. Yep. I'm going to add the, the pasta. Add the eggs. Gonna All right. Thank you, Tom. I'm going to finish the dish with some cheddar cheese. And some fresh Parmigiano Reggiano. We're going to re-season with a little bit of cracked black pepper. And we're going to get this deliciousness into the oven so it can bake and have a nice fresh frittata. All right. So we have about 10 or 15 minutes till our frittata is ready. Back to you guys, Harriet. And oh, Michelle. <laughs> Great. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> It's okay, no worries. Harriet's the star here. Oh no, no, the, our members are the stars. Yeah, tonight. that's right, absolutely. That's right. And they're doing a good job over there, uh, Tom and Luca. Love, oh, love seeing them in the I kitchen. I just can't wait. To, none of us have eaten, so we're we're waiting with bated <laughs> breath to to have our dinner. Right, know, exactly. And then towards the end, tell us more about the kitchen programming, though. That's really so, you said center here, well, right? Well, when you think about social, yeah. Okay, think about this past year. We couldn't get together with our family. I we know. couldn't get together with our friends. And what brings us together typically? Right, it's food. for the holidays. Yeah. It's food. It's around a kitchen table. Yes. Um, that and it just it that just is a perfect setting. Right. So for our members, what brings them together here are by interests or cooking in the kitchen. Yeah. But cooking is a very essential skill. Yeah. There's a lot that goes into it. It's budgeting, it's nutrition, it's health, right. healthy eating. Right. But it's sitting around that table and having a conversation. Yeah. And it, what's also interesting, our chef's night is probably the most social event of the year. Yeah. Because that's when when we have, and we're going to be doing live chef's, chef's that's night. That's right, next year. Next right? year, next mark year. my words. Yep. I don't mark know if we down. have a date yet, but we will let you know. We will let you know. Yes. But that's going to be... But people talk to each other. They don't know. But what are you eating? What are I you know. eating? So it brings them together. I was there and I Food had a brings blast. Us together. Oh my gosh. Everybody so loved it. That kitchen is so important to yeah. our members on so many different levels. Yeah. So many different levels. Awesome. And Chef Tim is really there often, correct? Yes. It, yes. yes. Chef Tim actually comes out when we do our yeah. live chef's night. He comes out and does a cooking class with our REACH members. Amazing. And they they do the presenting at Chef's Night. They have yeah. their own booth with Chef Tim's right. recipe. And he has some, tonight's recipe, I think, is well, the we're best. Gonna, yeah, we're going to check back in with him later. But let's let's talk about uh, CEL's third pillar now, employment programs, which we know is so critical. I've heard you speak a lot about this in the past and in the media, and you're very passionate about the importance of employment for your members. And tell us more about how, how it's going. Right. Employment is uh, one of the greatest barriers for a full included life in the community. Yeah. Uh, in the nation, it's 84% unemployment wow. for adults with developmental disabilities, which is really a, no, unacceptable. Yeah. But with the pandemic, it went up to 92%, which is not a surprise. Wow. And I think it's probably even higher because people don't track those numbers. Yeah. So we decided about five years ago, we we're going to take this on as a priority and make sure that those people that want to work are prepared to work, work at a job that they choose, that they select, and, and are successful at it. We want to make sure they're successful at the work that they do. Amazing. And are you always looking for more companies? Always, always. And it, what really is successful is working with smaller businesses Okay. because they can, they can make decisions immediately. Yeah. And they and they can provide the supports that our members may need. We call them natural supports, which means you know someone that will invite them to lunch or someone to show them the ropes right. or someone mentor to help them, them succeed a bit. Yeah. as a mentor. And it works out beautifully. Love it. So any of you businesses out there, if you would think about hiring a person with a developmental disability, what jobs could they do? They do shredding and filing, and and they also make the best employees. The best. They Absolutely. show up on time. Yeah. They're they dedicated. Rarely take a sick day yeah. and they're dedicated and they love their jobs. Right. They love their jobs. And to have that paycheck, you know, you see 
such a proud moment. Source of total pride. But yeah. rather than us talking about it, why don't we hear from Patricia? Yes, Patricia She's has a great a story. story to share. So let's yeah. take a look. Yes. I thank God that I have a job. My name is Patricia Tucker. I've been a member with the center for 14 or 15 years. About three years ago, I started doing the employment program. It's, sometimes it's kind of hard for me to find a job on my own. So that's why I asked CEO to help me. Here at the Center for Enriched Living, our vision is to match our CEL members with competitive integrated employment opportunities in the respective communities. We try to find positions which match their interest level and abilities, where they're compensated fairly, in which they're fully satisfied. They did a bunch of different applications for me, and then Culver's called me and said to me if I was interested in working at Culver's, and I said yes I was. I've been working at Culver's for three and a half years. I take food out to the customers, I wipe down tables, and sometimes I even help put the food inside the bags. Prior to COVID, we had about 20 individuals that were out in the community working. Uh, the majority of them uh, were laid off, unfortunately. I was out of work for like three months. I would be stuck in the house being bored out of my mind. <laughs> it kind of made me sad because of the fact that I wasn't working and, and I wasn't getting paid. Trisha was actually um, invited to go back into work several months after the pandemic uh, began. And so she shared, you know, her successes and also just what she went through. She's been instrumental to our program, just a, a bright light, and we love having her in our class. And our new employment members have really learned a lot from her journey. I was very happy when I was able to go back to work. They all treat me like family, and they're like family to me. I would want Trisha to know just how proud I am of her and our entire CEL team and family here. I think she's got a very bright future ahead of her, so we're just excited to be part of her journey. Thank you for giving me this opportunity to work at a restaurant that would treat me nicely. They really helped me out a lot. That's very, so, that's very, very important. And you, I mean, you have been yeah. here a long time, Harriet. This I know, is your I, can't, I don't home. have enough fingers and toes. This is to your count. home and this your is family. My home. Yeah. This is my home and I love it. And I love you, our donors, because we need your support. We love you because you love us. And, you know, text 243-725-CEL. I don't know. That's, that's absolutely right. We need to keep keep donating and we want to yeah. now actually thank our silver sponsors um, who you will see on the screen uh, who have done so much for us. Um, we wouldn't be here without them. We're going to share all their names right there on the screen. And, you know, we really rely so much on our sponsors to survive right now here at, uh, at CEL. So all of you there, all of those names on the screen are key to key to building those programs and that support. And uh, I don't know, can we, okay, actually, we're going to yes, now- I was just gonna say. Talk about the match, because yes. the match tonight is just incredible. Yeah. And this comes from Vaughn and Jennifer Moore, right? Very uh, important on the board. Yeah, well, first of all, we have a tremendous board of directors. They're volunteers. These people volunteer their time. These are very busy people. Yeah. <laughs> and have a great group of volunteers. And Vaughn has been on our board for several years. And he, whenever he gives, he wants to leverage it for greater return for the center. Yeah. So this match is definitely doing that. So Vaughn and Jennifer have off offered up this $50,000 match. AIT, um, yes. Vaughn's business, yes. is one of our major sponsors uh, throughout the year. So we're so grateful for this match that's gonna help us double our money tonight. I mean, that's really impactful. Anything you donate tonight is gonna to be doubled up to $50,000. So let's directly hear now from Vaughn about this generous, generous match. I'm Vaughn Moore, CEO of AIT Worldwide Logistics and proud board member at the Center for Enriched Living. A year ago, when I spoke during CEL's virtual chef's night, None of us had any idea how much our world would be impacted by the COVID pandemic. These past few months, we've all needed to lean on one another for support. 
But with all the changes to our everyday lives, it's taken a little extra work staying connected to the people we love and the things we care about. That's why CEL has been such an important lifeline for people in our community with intellectual and developmental disabilities. Every single day, CEL has been there for our members so they never lose connection to their friends. So they have opportunities to learn something new or build skills for a job they'll love. So they always have someone to lean on. Right now, your support is so important for our members and their families. And, through the, and though the worst may be behind us, there's still much work to be done. You can help CEL and our members rebuild, reconnect, and bounce forward by joining me and my family in making a gift tonight. Every donation matters. Every dollar raised brings hope and renewal to our CEL community. So tonight, my wife, Jennifer, and I will match every gift made to CEL during Chef's Night up to $50,000. Text the letters CEL to the number 243725 and let's hit tonight's fundraising goal. Thank you. Well, I certainly wish Vaughn was right here, Vaughn and Jennifer, uh, so we can hug them yeah. because that is so incredibly generous. It's it's amazing and it really helps. It's going to help us meet our goal. Amazing. It is going to help us yeah. meet our goal. Speaking of goals, let's take a look. Where are we? 38,553. You know, Yay. that's really, I'm, I'm blown away right now with the speed mm. at which this is happening. This is just incredible, Harriet. This is why I say I am so lucky to do the job that I have. I just work with amazing people and work with amazing donors and staff and, and everybody. Okay, so, so let's talk about the levels. The levels the again. Levels. So again, a reminder, I, we talk about a, lo a lot about employment, employment and jobs. $2,500 will help a person get a job. $1,000 will bring arts and even cooking. I mean, whatever program it is, it brings a year of programming to a youth or adult with developmental disabilities. It brings them together to, in a community. It, it brings them together as friends. It brings them out in the community because it's not just the life here, it's the life out there that they get. Yes. So, and then summer camp. $500. Summer camp, $500 brings a summer of fun or actually $500 brings a week of fun to a camper. So it, it impacts the life. Of, of children with developmental disabilities. You know, it's great to see directly where the funds go because, you know, people who aren't as familiar, familiar with CEL may not really know directly how their money can impact the organization. So mm -hmm. those examples are really helpful to see and, mm -hmm. and powerful. Yes. You know? Yes. So let's thank our silver sponsors again uh, while we're moving along here. And we're so appreciative for all of their help and all of their support of the Center for Enriched Living. Thank you so much to all those companies and individuals you see on the screen. Super grateful. You know, there's so many people mm -hmm. behind the scenes here that make this all come together. And your board of directors are all volunteers, correct? Mm -hmm. And really uh, have such an impact on the organization. And we wanna thank them tonight. And we wanna hear actually directly from our board of directors president, Joan Cannon. On behalf of CEL's Board of Directors, I want to thank you for joining us for this very special virtual Chef's Night. Like you, we're feeling hopeful about the months ahead. For the first time in ages, there's a buzz around the building as our members begin to return. But this journey isn't over. There's so much to do and urgent challenges that still lie ahead. This is our moment to dream big, to bounce forward, but we can't do it without you. Your contribution improves the lives of people with intellectual and developmental disabilities today and into the future. And I'm so happy to say, the future is finally looking bright. Please visit our website or text the letters CEL to the number 243-725 to make your donation. Thank you for your support. Thank you so much again to Joan and oh. all of your board of directors. Yep. They are, they're great people. I know you adore them. I do. <laughs>
Okay, well, guess what? It's time to check in with our chef again, Chef Tim from Barilla, who is with Luca and Tom. How's it going over there, chef? Our frittata oh, in the oven. It, uh, it's about two minutes away from being ready, so we're going to prepare a side salad to go with our frittata. Tom's going to make the dressing. It's a lemon vinaigrette. It has uh, some lemon juice, salt and pepper, and some fresh olive oil. So he's going to get that together, and he's going to hand it off to Luca after it's ready, and I'm going to get the frittata out of the oven. Moment of truth here. Let's see. Oh, it looks beautiful. It looks beautiful. All right, so we're going to flip this over. Put this right on this board like so. Oh, wow, guys, you did such a great job. It looks beautiful. Did you make it? Did you make it? This is gorgeous. All right. Well, are we going to be able to taste it? Absolutely. We're going to taste it a little bit of fresh Parmigiano. We're going to cut it, and we're going to plate it here. We have some beautiful plates. We have a little bit of salad. I'm going to add a little bit of fresh shallot. What will that do for it? It'll add freshness okay. and, it'll, and it'll add some flavor and aromatics to it as well. Oh, All right, so we're going to add that fresh in there. I'm going to get you a glove here. We're going to mix, mix that up okay. really good. And I'm going to cut and we're going we're gonna to try this. Awesome. Okay, well, I think we're ready to show our bronze. Oh, there we go. Okay. You do a lot of work to get all these sponsors throughout the year. This um, is quite an, an undertaking. We we do. Our board of directors are active fundraisers. Yes. They're required to and expected to raise significant dollars every year because they know how much, uh, they know the transformative effect and impact yes. of it. And, and, and yeah, there's they, all those angel sponsors that we're also yep. grateful to see yes. there on the screen. Yes. So every board member that joins the board, they bring with them a sphere of influence. Yes, so, absolutely. And we, they're, they're virtual Rolodex, so to speak. Yeah. So they are really wonderful friends. And what they do is, much like tonight, is share the story. Yeah. Because fundraising isn't really about asking for money. It's about telling the story. Exactly. Right. And tonight we shared our story with you. We shared our story of the successes at the center. Our 185... <laughs> Bowler, right? <laughs> Tom, that's our, awesome. Our poets, our storytellers, right. our employees, our right. our friends, right? That's we right. we get so much here. Yep, and right? so you, many you stories. Do. What's your favorite thing to do here, Tom? My favorite thing is uh, doing lots of stuff like arts and crafts. Artsy, yep. creative. Yep. That, that's what we said. The yep. arts is so important. Yep. Very important. Yep. Amazing. Yeah. Awesome. So many stories to tell here. I've been so grateful to work with you as well in telling those stories. Yeah. We have a lot to share and uh, so much, so many people to help tonight. So thank you to all of you out there, there who have been donating, donating and supporting. And supporting. Please, Please continue, continue to text. text. But I believe we are almost ready. We are oh, ready. Oh, Yay. We're ready. It's the, big, <laughs> it's the big part of the night. We are going to draw a raffle ticket. Right. Tell yes, us what we are. are. Uh, for the, uh, uh, it's a raffle, it's a car, <laughs> a Ford Bronco, a Ford Bronco. 2021 car, uh, it's a truck, Yes. a little mini truck, but mm -hmm. it's a hot, hot, hot new car, and it's that or $30,000, and Luca, one of our very talented staff members, is going to be picking the winning raffle, and we're using our friend, Alexa, <laughs> I can't see Alexa, okay. to do it, so. Go ahead, Luca. All right, Luca, we'll... Can we get a drum roll? Yeah. Alexa, please pick a number between 1 and 1,026. Your random number between 1 and 1,026 is 670. 670. 670, okay. Oh, wow. Give us a moment to find the winner. We're going to give our team a minute to find the winner. And in the meantime, let's check the thermometer and see where oh, we're at. I, let's see. Give me a hug. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this is all for our members and their quality of life. This is really amazing. Hey guys, congrats. thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, we've been notified oh. that one of our close friends is donating $50,000 to tonight's event because they were inspired by Vaughn and Jennifer Moore's match. Wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So that put us way over our goal of 62,591. And our goal, because we were very modest in our goal, because this is pandemic year, it was 356,200. Drum roll. Thank you, everyone. 383,000. Oh, and last but not least, the winner of the car raffle. John Arnold! John Arnold! Yeah. Yeah. John, if you're out there, congratulations. We're so excited. We are. And what a night this has been. We Look, we're right on time. We're wrapping it up. And thank, thank you for you. sticking with us, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, everyone here, <laughs> all of our people who made this happen, our staff team, our professional team, everybody. We could not have done this without you. And thank you all out there in our viewing audience. We love you and we hope to see you soon in person. Thank you so much for supporting. From all of us at Pet Factory, thank you for supporting Chef's Night and CEL. You guys rock. From the Swartz family, thank you for supporting Chef's Night. As a volunteer and board member, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting CEL. Hey, oh, Tom all. <laughs> my brother Tommy Posick. I'm Angela Posick. I work for CEL and we want to say thanks for supporting Chef's Night. We appreciate you. Thank you for supporting us.